Playway to English 4, Serbian edition by Genta Gerngross, Herbert Puchter, and Daniela Atanaskovic. Published by Cambridge University Press, Hebling Languages, and Klet Publishing. This recording is copyrighted. CD 2 Recording for the Pupils Book and Activity Book. Pupils Book Unit 5 Exercise 1 Listen and write the numbers. 1 She's flying to the moon. 2 She's feeding a baby lion. 3 He's exploring a cave. 4 She's swimming with dolphins. Five. She's riding a black horse. Six. He's climbing a skyscraper. Seven. She's driving a racing car. Eight. He's fighting a monster. Nine. He's dancing at a party. Activity Book Unit 5 Exercise 1 Listen and tick the correct clocks. It's a cold and rainy Sunday. Max is in his bed all day. He's asleep. <coughs> he has beautiful dreams. At eight o'clock, he's flying to the moon. <coughs> At quarter to nine, He's driving a racing car. <coughs> At quarter past ten, he's riding a white horse. <coughs> At half past eleven, he's swimming with dolphins. <coughs> Max has beautiful dreams. At quarter to one, he's feeding a baby lion. At quarter past two, he's exploring a cave. At three o'clock, Max is climbing a skyscraper. <coughs> At half past three, Max is fighting a monster. <coughs> At quarter to five, Max is dancing at a party. Then, Max gets up. <coughs> oh. <coughs> oh, I'm so tired. <coughs> ah, I know. Back to bed. Activity Book Unit 5 Exercise 5 Look at the pictures and listen to the story. Write the numbers.
One. It's quarter past twelve. Two. Sue is eating her cheese sandwich. Three. Then she goes to bed. Four. At half past twelve, a mouse comes into the kitchen. Five. It takes the cheese and runs away. Six. At quarter to one, Dad wakes up. Seven. He is hungry and goes down to the kitchen. Eight. He opens the fridge. There is no cheese. Nine. Then, he sees a bit of cheese on the floor. Ten. Am I dreaming? A mouse can't open a fridge. Eleven. Then, he goes back to bed. Pupils' book, Unit Five, Exercise Five. Read, then listen to the story and write. The fox is dreaming of a fat duck. The fox is coming. <coughs> the fox is very angry. <coughs> I've got an idea. Dead foxes wiggle their ears. Ha ha ha! You are not dead, you silly fox. The fox is very angry. I hate you. <coughs> the next day. Dead foxes wiggle their ears. <coughs> the fox is really dead. Now I've got you. Before you eat me, please sing me a song. Okay. La 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 la! Ha! Thank you for your wonderful song, you silly fox. <laughs> Activity book. Unit five, exercise seven. Listen and check. The fox wants to catch a duck. The raven shouts, "Duck! The fox is coming!" The fox is very angry. The fox has got an idea. I'll close my eyes. The raven will think I'm dead. The raven says, "Dead foxes wiggle their ears." The fox wiggles his ears. The raven laughs. <laughs> You're not dead, you silly fox. Then the fox catches the raven. Now I've got you. He says. 
The raven says, Before you eat me, please sing me a song. The fox sings a song and the raven flies away. Pupil's Book, Unit 5, Exercise 7. Listen and write the names. Ben, what do you dream of? I often dream about a little dog. A dog? That's nice. What do you dream of, Rose? In my favourite dream, I'm riding a horse. What about you, Jacob? In my dreams... I'm flying a plane. <laughs> That's cool. Julia, what do you dream of? I dream of playing football. Really? Owen, do you also dream of playing football? No. In my dreams, I'm driving a car. <laughs> <laughs> and you, Eve, what do you dream of? I dream about my birthday. Activity book. Unit 5. Exercise 9. Listen, read and match. Jessica. In my dreams, I'm flying a plane or driving a racing car. Mark. I dream about my little cat. Her name is Spotty. Lucy. I dream of playing the guitar. James. I often dream of animals. Lions, tigers and elephants. Anna. In my dreams, I often see beautiful flowers and animals. Daniel. In my favourite dreams, I've got a little pony. Activity book. Unit 5. Exercise 10. Listen again. Write the names in the pictures. Jessica. In my dreams, I'm flying a plane or driving a racing car. Mark. I dream about my little cat. Her name is Spotty. Lucy. I dream of playing the guitar. James. I often dream of animals. Lions, tigers and elephants. Anna. In my dreams, I often see beautiful flowers and animals. Daniel. In my favourite dreams, I've got a little pony. Pupil's Book. Unit 5. Exercise 10. Listen and match the rhymes. He's sailing a boat. She's riding a goat. She's flying to a star. He's racing a car. She's eating cake. He's cooking a steak. He's climbing a tower. She's picking a flower. He's feeding a cat. She's catching a bat. Pupil's Book. Unit 5. Exercise 11. Listen and say. In my dreams, I'm riding a horse. I'm sailing a boat. I'm racing a car. 
and I'm flying to a star. Pupils' book, Unit Six, Exercise One. Listen and point. Monkey. Polar bear. Crocodile. Lion. Seal. Kangaroo. Elephant. Shark. Penguin. Rattlesnake. Owl. Leopard. Seagull. Hippo. Giraffe. Whale. Pupils' book, Unit Six, Exercise Four. Listen and check your answers. How many of the animals can fly? Two, the owl and the seagull. The penguin is also a bird, but it can't fly. How many of them have got four legs? Seven, the lion. The hippo, the elephant, the polar bear, the giraffe, the leopard, and the crocodile. The monkey and the kangaroo have got two arms and two legs. How many can climb trees? Three. The monkey, the leopard, and the rattlesnake. How many eat other animals? Twelve. The monkey, the lion, the seagull, the seal, the polar bear, the shark, the rattlesnake, the whale, the leopard, the penguin, the crocodile, and the owl. How many eat grass? Four. The hippo, the elephant, the kangaroo, and the giraffe. How many lay eggs? Five. The seagull, the owl, the rattlesnake, the penguin, and the crocodile. Pupils' book, Unit Six, Exercise Five. Listen, sing the song. I've got a friend called Lucy. She lives at number four. When Lucy walks her pet, oh yeah, we all run to the door. To the door, she hasn't got a hamster. She hasn't got a cat. She hasn't got a bear. Oh no, she hasn't got a 
rat. She hasn't got a bear. Oh no, she hasn't got a rat. She hasn't got a monkey. She hasn't got a dog. She hasn't got a snake. Oh no, she hasn't got a frog. She hasn't got a snake. Oh no, she hasn't got a frog. When Lucy walks her pet, oh yeah, the children do not smile. Because the pet she's got, oh yeah, is a crocodile, a crocodile, a crocodile, a crocodile. Oh yeah, oh Pupils Book, Unit 6, Exercise 6. Read, then listen to the story and write. Pinky the Elephant Many, many years ago, elephants had short noses. Why have they got long noses now? Here's the story. One day... Pinky the elephant goes down to the river. There he meets a crocodile. Hello, crocodile. How are you today? Please come closer. I can't hear you. When Pinky is very close, the crocodile grabs his nose and pulls. Help! It hurts! A big snake hears Pinky and she comes to help him. After an hour, the crocodile lets go. Oh. Oh. oh, look at my nose! It hurts! It looks funny, but it looks 
useful too. On his way home, Pinky is very hungry. He picks some fruit from a tree. Oh, a long nose is really very useful. When Pinky gets home, all the elephants in his family laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Pinky smiles and picks some fruit from a tree. The other elephants say. Then he drinks some water with his long nose. <laughs> Wonderful, Pinky. Where can I get such a long nose? That's easy, Johnny. Go down to the river. Say hello to the big crocodile. <laughs> when Johnny comes back, all the other elephants say, <gasps> What a wonderful nose! Let's go down to the river. Yes! Come on! Come on. Let's, Let's run! run. <laughs> Activity book. Unit 6. Exercise 5. Listen and check. OK, are you ready? Here are the answers to our animal quiz. Number one is the penguin. Number two is the elephant. Number three is the owl. Number four is the monkey. Number five is the hippo. Pupils book. Unit 7. Exercise 1. Listen and point. Hill. River. Castle. Forest. Farm. Bridge. Lake. Road. Motorway Mountain Field Village Town Sea Beach Pupils book. Unit 7. Exercise 2. Listen and write the numbers. Treasure number 1 is under the bridge. Treasure number 2 is on the beach. Treasure number 3 is next to the motorway. Treasure number 4 is on the mountain. Treasure number five is in the river. Treasure number six is next to the castle on the hill. Treasure number seven 
is in the forest. Treasure number eight is in front of the castle. Activity book, Unit Seven, Exercise One. Listen. Then write the missing words. Go through the forest. Go straight on, and then turn right. Go up the hill. Turn right, and go across the bridge. Go down the hill. Go straight on. At the farm, turn left. Go straight on, and then turn left. Go to the castle through the forest. Activity book, Unit Seven, Exercise Two. Listen and check. Turn right and go across the bridge. Go through the forest. Go up the hill. The treasure is behind the big tree. Activity book, Unit Seven, Exercise Three. Listen and find out where the treasure is. Go straight on, then turn right. At the big tree, turn left. You come to a farm. Then go through a forest. Go up the hill to a castle. Turn right and go across the bridge. Don't go to the farm, and don't go to the castle in the forest. Go straight on, and then turn left. Dig for the treasure. Pupils' book, Unit Seven, Exercise Six. Listen and point, then listen and mime. You find a treasure map in an old book. Wait until midnight. Walk to the old castle. Start digging. What's that? Ah, a box. Open it. There's a gold ring in the box. Put it on your finger. Suddenly. Your ears grow bigger and bigger. Quickly take the ring off. Your ears get smaller again. Phew, that was close. <sighs> Pupils' book, Unit Seven, Exercise Seven. Listen and write the numbers. One. Suddenly, your ears grow bigger and bigger. Two. Your ears get smaller again. Three. Quickly take the ring off. 
four. What's that? A box. Five. Phew, that was close. Six. Start digging. Seven. You find a treasure map in an old book. Eight. Put the ring on your finger. Nine. Wait until midnight. Ten. Walk to the old castle. Eleven. There is a gold ring in the box. Twelve. Open the box. Activity book. Unit 7. Exercise 5. Listen and write the numbers. 1. There's a gold ring in the box. 2. You find a treasure map in an old book. 3. Quickly take the ring off. 4. Your ears get smaller again. Five. What's that? Ah, a box. Six. Walk to the old castle. Pupil's book. Unit 7, Exercise 8. Listen to the dialogue. Look, there's an old box. Wow, let's open it. Maybe there's gold in it. Help me open it. OK. I don't believe it. What's in it? An old shoe. <laughs> 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 Activity book, Unit 7, Exercise 10. Listen and check. Look, there's a box. Wow, it's really old. Let's open it. OK. Let me help you. Thanks, Lucy. Wow! Look at that! What is it? A gold necklace. Pupil's book, Unit 7, Exercise 10. Listen and point. Then listen and mime. Me with these boxes, please. Oh! Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Hello, Lucy. I've just had this dream. I was on an island, and I lived there with some very nice pirates. They cooked food for me. Played with me. They even helped me build my own tree house. One day the pirates asked me to help them find the treasure.
We looked and searched around the whole island. And when I moved one rock, there was a treasure chest. Oh! I opened it, and. And what was in the trash chest? I don't know. You dropped that box, so I jumped out of bed. Pupils' book, Unit Seven, Exercise Eleven. Listen and write the numbers. One. Some gold. Two. A lake. Three. Pink clouds. Four. A cat. Five. A treasure chest. Six. A birthday cake. Seven. A bridge. Eight. A tree. Nine. A happy cow. Pupils' book, Unit Seven, Exercise Twelve. Listen and say. A crazy photo. A tree, pink clouds, some gold, a lake, my treasure chest, my birthday cake, a bridge, a cat, a happy cow. That's what's in my camera now. Pupils' book, Unit Eight, Exercise One. Listen and write the numbers. One. I love football. I often watch sports programs. Two. I play the guitar. I love watching music shows. Three. I like animals very much. I always watch nature programs. Four. My brother and I always watch cartoons. They are our favorite programs. Five. My sister doesn't like science fiction films, but I love them. Six. On Friday, my mum and I always watch the detective films. We love them. Pupils' book, Unit Eight, Exercise Three. Listen and write. Sophie, how often do you watch cartoons? Let me think. About five times a week. What about nature programs? Once a week. There's always a nature program on Friday. Hmm. What about music shows? I never watch them. James, how often do you watch cartoons? Let me think. About three times a week. What about nature programs? Twice a week. There's always a nature program on Friday and on Sunday. What about music shows? I don't like them. I never watch them. Charlotte, how often do you watch cartoons? I don't like them. I never watch them. Oh, what about nature programs? Three times a week. What about music shows? I always watch a music show on Saturday. Oliver, how often do you watch cartoons? Let me think. About seven times a week. Hmm. What about nature programs? Once a week. What about music shows? 
I never watch them. Pupils book, Unit 8, Exercise 5. Read, then listen and write. I know a boy whose name is Lee, who is in love with his TV. When Lee gets up at half past three, he switches on his big TV. He eats and even drinks his tea in front of his beloved TV. His face is white, his eyes are red, and when he finally goes to bed, he claps his hand, he slaps his knee, and shouts, Tomorrow I will watch TV! Pupils Book Unit 8 Exercise 6 Listen and say the tongue twister. Six sick sheep are sitting on a ship. Six sick sheep are sitting on a ship. Six sick sheep are sitting on a ship. Activity book. Unit 8. Exercise 5. Listen and write the missing words. I know a girl whose name's Marie who doesn't like watching TV. As soon as Marie comes home from school, she picks up a book that's really cool. She starts to read at 4 o'clock and in her head she sees the most fantastic film until it's time to go to bed. Marie is smart, but I am too. So guess what I will do? I'll go and buy two books. One for me and one for you. Pupils book, Unit 8, Exercise 7. Listen and point. Then listen and mime. Your dad says, time for bed. Switch off the TV. Go to your room. Listen. Everything is quiet. Creep back into the living room. Your dad is asleep. You trip and knock over the flowers. Your dad is wet. <laughs> Say sorry and go back to bed. Pupils Book Unit 8 Exercise 8 Listen and write the numbers. 1. Your dad is wet. 2. Creep back into the living room. 3. Your dad says, time for bed. 4. Say sorry and go back to bed. Five. Your dad is asleep. Six. Go to your room. Seven. You trip and knock over the flowers. Eight. Listen. Everything is quiet. Nine. Switch off the TV.
Activity book. Unit eight. Exercise seven. Listen and write the numbers. One. Your dad says, "Time for bed." Two. Go to your room. Three. Your dad is asleep. Four. Listen. Everything is quiet. Five. You trip and knock over the flowers. Six. Switch off the TV. Pupils' book, Unit Eight, Exercise Nine. Listen and tick. Then write the times. One. It's nine o'clock. Two. It's half past seven. Three. It's quarter past two. Four. It's quarter past ten. Five. It's quarter to five. Six. It's quarter to eight. Pupils book, Unit Eight, Exercise Ten. Read, then listen and write. Mum, can I watch the detective film? When does it start? It starts at half past eight. That's too late. But mum, it's Saturday. Okay, I'll watch it with you. Great. Activity book, Unit Eight, Exercise Nine. Listen and write the dialogue. Dad, can I watch the football match? When? It starts at quarter past eight. That's too late. But Dad, your favourite team is playing. What? Let's watch it together. Activity book, Unit Eight, Exercise Ten. Listen and check. Mum, can I watch the music show? When does it start? It starts at quarter past eight. That's too late. Please, Mum. Tomorrow's Saturday. Okay, I'll watch it with you. Fantastic. Thank you. Pupils' book, Unit Nine, Exercise One. Listen and write the numbers. One. Library. Two. Treehouse. Three. Skate park. Four. Airport. Five. Museum. Six. Sports center. Seven. Garden. Eight. Shopping center. Pupils' book, Unit Nine.
Exercise 3. Listen and write the numbers. 1. Hi, I'm Neil from London, England. My favourite place is Heathrow Airport in London. I sometimes go there with my dad at weekends. I love watching the planes take off and land. One day I want to be a pilot. Find my photograph. 2. Hi. I'm Stuart, from California in America. My favorite place is the Natural History Museum in Los Angeles. I often go there with my grandma. I like the dinosaurs best. Find my photograph. 3. Hi, I'm Christine from Sydney, Australia. My favorite place is the beach near our house. I often go there with my friends. We swim in the sea and build sandcastles. We sometimes find beautiful shells. Find my photograph. 4. Hi, I'm Erica from Toronto, Canada. My favourite place is the treehouse in our garden. I often go there. I read books and listen to music on my MP3 player. Sometimes I go there with my best friend Pat. Find my photograph. Activity Book Unit 9 Exercise 1 Listen and write the children's favourite places. Hi, I'm Muriel from England. My favourite place is our swimming pool. This is Brent from Canada. His favourite place is his bed. This is Cheryl from America. Her favourite place is the park near her house. Hi, we're Jerry and Jennifer from Australia. Our favourite place is the beach. Daniel and Debbie are from Scotland. They love cooking. Their favourite place is the kitchen. Activity Book Unit 9 Exercise 3 Listen and check This is Nicola from England. Her favourite place is her garden. Hi, we're Jessie and Liz from America. Our favourite place is the Natural History Museum. We love dinosaurs. Hi, I'm James from Canada. My favourite place is the river behind our house. Roy and Alexandra are from Scotland. Their favourite place is their grandpa's farm. This is Tony from Australia. His favourite place is his dad's boat. Pupils Book, Unit 9, Exercise 5. Listen and point. You're asleep. At midnight, you hear a bell. You wake up. Get out of bed. Go downstairs. Open the fridge. Make yourself a cheese sandwich. Sit down and eat it. 
say, the kitchen is my favorite place. Pupils book, unit 9, exercise 6. Listen and write the numbers. 1. Get out of bed. 2. You're asleep. 3. Open the fridge. 4. Make yourself a cheese sandwich. 5. Say, the kitchen is my favorite place. 6. You wake up. 7. At midnight, you hear a bell. 8. Sit down and eat the sandwich. 9. Go downstairs. 10. Activity Book, Unit 9, Exercise 5. Listen and write the numbers. 1. Say, the kitchen is my favourite place. 2. Open the fridge. 3. Sit down and eat it. 4. Go downstairs. 5. At midnight, you hear a bell. 6. Make yourself a cheese sandwich. Pupils book, Unit 9, Exercise 7. Read and write the missing words. Then listen and check. Street marks its anniversary with massive action in New York. Uh, hundreds of arrests serving to attract more attention to the... We are going to visit Grandma Susan tomorrow, Ben. Aww. But Mom, I've already organized a picnic with my friends. Grandma Maria's house is near the lake. It's going to be a beautiful sunny day. You can have a picnic there. Ah! Good idea. Ben, invite your friends to come with us. I must go with my parents tomorrow to visit my grandma Maria. Oh no! You can come with us if you want. She lives near the lake. Great. We'll have a picnic there. Great idea. We'll bring a blanket. I'll make some sandwiches. And I'll bring some orange juice and some apples. My mother will make a pie. The pie she made for your birthday? The apple pie? Yummy! And I'll bring the guitar. We can sing and swim all day. The next day... Hello, children. I am Ben's Grandma Maria. What a lovely house. What a beautiful garden. Can we go under the tree near the lake, please? Yes, you can. We'll be there soon, too. Later. When I was a young boy, you know, my daddy said, he said, son, you're caught on, but it's a place to lay your head. Now I'm 
Sleeping on the couch on my lay laying in our bed. I ain't nothing in this world but to hold my breath and just play dead. My favorite pie. Mmm. Swimming, my favorite sport. Beautiful sunny Sunday. My favorite day. The next day. Activity book, Unit Nine, Exercise Seven. Listen and write the numbers. One. I'm thirsty. Hi, Lucy. I'll bring you some water. Two. The phone. The phone is ringing. I'll answer it. Three. Brr! It's cold in here. No problem. I'll close the window. Four. Hey, our fridge is empty. Don't worry, I'll buy some food. Five. Mmm. I am hungry. Oh, I'll give you my sandwich. Here you are. Six. Hmm. <sighs> Susan, I've got too much homework. Okay, I'll help you with your English. Pupils' book, Unit Nine, Exercise Twelve. What's your favorite place? What's your favorite place? Is it your tree house? Is it the beach? Is it your kitchen? No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Just listen to me. It's the park. That's where I like to be. Pupils' book, Unit Nine, Exercise Thirteen. Listen and write the sentences. What's your favourite place? Is it the airport? Is it the museum? Is it the library? No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Just listen to me. It's the forest. That's where I like to be.